Hi everyone, it's Lisa from A Simple Season. Today I'm doing an organize and declutter of one of my bathrooms. I have two of them in my house and this is one of them. So over the next few weeks, I'm just gonna be tackling a few different trouble areas that I have in my home to organize and declutter. So hopefully you'll stay tuned and let's get started. So if you walk into the bathroom, this is our second bathroom, and this is one that we use quite a bit. I've got this storage tower here, which is really awesome. It holds quite a bit of stuff, but there's an issue with it. So because it's got these kind of little wire, um, I don't know what you would call these wire rods, I guess, that go across it. If you've got anything narrow, it doesn't really hold it very well. So I'm going to, well, there you see it fell over. So I'm going to come up with a solution for this that's going to work really well. And so you can see I've got a lot of, a lot of stuff there. And then, of course, the sink area, which has always got something on it. And then we've got this kind of a little ledge up here. Here we have our toilet. And then above it, we have a cupboard. And if I open up the cupboard, I've got extra soaps and stuff up there. So if the soaps go on sale, I usually buy them. Hair dryer, extra toilet paper storage. And then I have some facial cleansers. And then I have a basket here with nothing in it. So I want to reorganize all of this just to make the space a little bit more efficient. And then underneath the sink area, if I open it up, I've just got a myriad of like, I don't know, cleaning products and hair stuff and I don't know, just a mishmash of stuff. So I need to go through everything. I wanna clean everything out, reorganize it, declutter, and we'll start from scratch and have a nice uh, fresh area after we're done. So what I got to help me organize that wire rack is I got some baskets like this from the dollar store and that's just gonna give it a nice flat bottom so I'm not trying to balance things on those little thin metal rods. And so now we can get to work and put everything back on here and declutter what we don't need. I also like to put uh, baking soda in my bath. So instead of just having the boxes on the shelf like that, I found this nice little half gallon jar that I'm going to pour the baking soda into just so that it looks a little bit nicer. So now I have the baking soda I'll put in here. I'm gonna stick a little scoop in there so I can use it to soften the water of my bath or I can use it to mix with my cleaner to create a little scrub whenever I wanna clean the bathroom. Okay, so I got this metal rack all organized. So I have all of the shaving supplies in these two bins up here. And then down here I have hairbrushes and nail care stuff. And just to organize all the tweezers and stuff, I just got a little sour cream container just to put all of the nail nippers and stuff in. And then I have my baking soda here. And then this is washcloths and down in this bottom bin, I just put Q-tips in a freezer bag and then I have a little extra space here for anything else I need. So I've taken everything out of that cabinet above my bathroom sink and I'm just gonna go through. I know like this is expired, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I also have a little thing of expired sunscreen that's going. I have like an old toothbrush head that I'm gonna get rid of. And also I have some cream that's ancient and that needs to go too. 
And these are just those little packages of dental floss we get from the dentist when we visit. And so I'm gonna use a little Ziploc container that didn't have a lid to corral all of these. So now I'm gonna start on this cabinet underneath the sink. One of the things I keep in every bathroom is a gallon of water. And this is just an old vinegar container that I emptied out when I finished the vinegar and I rinsed it out and I just fill it with water from the tap and then I just put a little bit of saran wrap over the, um, the edge or the top and put the lid back on. And I just change it out every six months and I just keep it in case the water ever gets shut off. Then I have some water for hygiene and washing. So I just fill this up and I just keep it at the back underneath the sink. So I bought a few bins for organizing, but I needed a couple more and I didn't want to go back to the dollar store and buy more bins. So I just kind of looked around in my recycling and I just found this little container. I think it might've had peaches or strawberries or something in it, but I'm going to use it to corral some of my hair products. And I pulled out that basket that had nothing in it from that upper cabinet. And I'm going to use this one to put stuff like hairspray in because sometimes when stuff goes on sale, I will stock up on it and just keep it in the cabinet. So that's what I'm going to do. So I've got mousse in here, hairspray. I've got some shine spray. And then I also have a few bottles of dry shampoo for dark hair. But ironically, I have a few of these because I bought them on sale and I'm gonna use them up, but I also discovered a DIY recipe for dry shampoo, so I'm gonna be using that in the future. So this is how it all looks now, nice and tidy. So in here I just have some extra plastic gloves that I can use for cleaning or when I color my hair. I have mouthwash and then back here I have extra razors, extra hand soap, um, hairspray, mousse, all of that stuff and then all the cleaning stuff on the side. And then here I've just hung up a hook with a bull clip and I'm just going to put a clean cleaning rag there so it's there ready for me when I need it. So same thing with this cabinet that I have here above the toilet. I have one of these plastic vegetable containers that I had in my recycling and I'm going to use it as a bin. I have some face cleansers in here that I have uh, several of because I work in the cosmetics industry. So sometimes we get stuff from reps to try. So I have a few things on hand that I need to corral and organize a bit better. So this is all the nail polish that I had in the bathroom that I pulled out and I need to declutter this because it's ridiculous that I have this much nail polish because most of the time my nails look like this. I do like to paint my toes though so I do want to save some of these but I want to get it down to fit into a container like this. So I also found this, um, this is just like an old 
uh, glasses case. And what I'm gonna use this for, cause it slides out, is I'm gonna put my nail tools in there. So I have some like cuticle nippers and cuticle pushers and I have a dotting tool that I use. And here's some more nippers and some cutters. And I'm gonna put all of that stuff in here and then slide it in. So this is how the whole thing looks now. It looks great. The vanity is all nice and tidy and the rack is all done. Everything organized into bins so everything can be easily found and it looks great. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Thanks so much for joining in with me today. I sure do appreciate it and we'll see you next time.